Go look at some art supplies at Walmart. So as you guys can see, they really have quite a selection. We've talked about these already, so we know those are waterproof. I'm looking to see if there's anything else that I know would be waterproof. There's a lot of ballpoint pens, and sometimes those are waterproof. In the past, I've talked about paper made flares. Those are not. Neither are the Tri Plus fine liners, I believe, and I did a review of those a while back um, on the blog. Now, for my alcohol marker post, uh, Bomber B actually told me that the V5, I believe it is, um, alcohol marker proof. I don't know about waterproof. And of course, they have a lot of pencils. Now, Papermate has these new colored lead pencils. I haven't had a chance to review those yet. And they also sell the individual colored leads. So if you're interested in doing colored lead line art and you don't want to order off the internet or you're buying for someone else and you're not comfortable ordering off the internet, you can go ahead and get them here at Walmart. And then they also have the Pentel click erase. I really like these. I still use these as well as the Pentel High Polymer. I keep talking to you guys about these and about white vinyl erasers and how they're really good. Uh, these are not so good. They're too tough. And then of course they have all of these different mechanical pencils. So many of them I have not get tested but honestly with mechanical pencils it's sort of just a matter of taste whatever works for you and then they have all these gel pens since people are super into those right now but I'm not seeing any white signals and the only white gel pens I'm seeing are sold in these huge packs of 30 and I've had bad experiences with casemate and pen gear stuff so I wouldn't really recommend those and then, of course, we have the Crayola stuff, which I've been doing a lot with lately. Whoa. It's a pretty cool case, except it comes with the pip squeaks, which you can't use for some of the techniques I've been demonstrating for you guys. And then they have the 100 count color pencils. That's really quite a lot. In the tutorial I've been working on, we've been doing the 24 count. There's the 36. Now, I've talked about these erasable color pencils. Um, I believe on the blog, I really don't like them. They're really gummy and uh, they cause a lot of wax resist. And they're just not fun to use. I would recommend you get colored lead instead. Small art supply section with coloring books. Actually, that paper's decent as well as the XL watercolor paper I was telling you guys about, the mixed media, and then they also have Sketch. And then they also have Borden and Riley, which I've never used, as well as the black sketchbooks that are so popular for high school art classes that I hate so much. But the mixed media is decent and the watercolor is pretty good too. And then they also have Prisma colors and these, I picked up this pack. No, I picked up the larger pack last year. And a lot of these supplies I reviewed, like the Simply Watercolors, I reviewed these over at natosudablogspot.com in 2015 as part of my affordable art supply series. Then we have the paint sharpies, and these aren't bad. Um, they're just really prone to drying out super quick. But if you don't have access to Posca markers, these can be really good for that. And they blend out with water, I believe. They are water or temper-based. 
And then there are the Sharpie oil painters, which I've never had a chance to use, but hopefully sometime soon.